Now through a few simple experiments, we will show you what causes aging, how it happens, and the ways in which it can be experienced. It is rather easy to see. For these experiments, I will need the help of my assistants Anya and Oksana. We shall start with something that is known as photo damage and photo aging. We will show how light affects the DNA in our skin cells. We will use this thread here to represent DNA. We use the fibers to create a double helix. To do this, we need this device. We pass the string through it this way and turn it on. Here are two fibers that are turning into a double helix. It roughly resembles a molecule which keeps our genetic information in each cell. Now the sun's rays, which will be this gas burner. Thus, DNA and light. Now let's try to make a breaking point. As you can see, one of the DNA strands exploded. This is unavoidable as far as biology is concerned. Furthermore, there is a special system inside the cell that controls and monitors the number of such breaks. When there are too many of them, the cell triggers a self-destructing program and the cell dies. Excessive use of ultraviolet in this way kills a large number of cells, and as a result, our skin becomes thinner and wrinkles appear. This is what is called photo-aging. Of course, completely excluding sunlight from reaching the face is impossible and unnecessary. Just think about this the next time you plan on getting that beautiful tan. In the next experiment, we will try to answer the question, why over time does our skin lose its elasticity and our faces begin to resemble baked apples? Many things lead to the loss of elasticity, but one of the main factors is changes in the quantity and more importantly, the quality of the polymer hyaluronic acid, which is part of the extracellular matrix under our skin. Hyaluronic acid maintains our skin's water balance. A single one of its molecules is able to hold up to 1,000 water molecules. In addition, it is involved in cell regeneration and ensures the correct positioning of the proteins responsible for skin elasticity, collagen and elastin. In two test tubes, science is prepared a gel that will imitate young and old skin. The young skin does not simply have more hyaluronic acid, but it is qualitatively different. The molecules of hyaluronic acid are polymers, and each one of them is a kind of chain, and the number of units in this chain decreases with age. Here in this petri dish, the polymer is healthier, more youthful. Anya? This is a petri dish with a polymer of lower molecular weight, and which is softer. We will now see the result. You see how it is practically beating back at the spatula. If we knock on a much older polymer, it is much softer. It bends and even gets a little damaged. How is this particular state of hyaluronic acid related to real life? Very simple. The skin, the subcutaneous layer, which contains a full-fledged young hyaluronian, looks like this. If some time passes, the body becomes old, the hyaluronic acid would decompose, and the appearance would dramatically change as well. Right now, Maxim Skulachev, a biologist, is preparing to talk about the main reason why our skin ages. More serious than the sun is bad ecology and the lack of hyaluronic acid. Maybe next he will talk about the ways to resolve it. The main factor in aging is toxic substances, which do not come from the outside, but from the inside of our very own cells. In the experiment, this petri dish will represent a skin cell. The white pills will perform the role of mitochondria, the cell's energy station. Typically, mitochondria are busy oxidizing organic substances that enter the cell and converting them into energy. As long as our bodies and our cells are still young, this process goes on smoothly without any special notable side effects. 
The cell is doing well. Now we will add the time factor. We will have this solution act as time. The clock is ticking. And now, here our wonderful young cell has begun to age. What happens at this stage? Mitochondria, in addition to its primary function of storing energy, begin to produce harmful substances called free radicals. They are practically seething in this organism and are hurting her. And the worst thing is that they are distributed throughout the cell. Thus we see how the cell ages itself and leads to the aging of the skin. With the formation of free radicals, antioxidants can handle special substances. In our example cell, they successfully destroyed all the enemies of beauty. The reality is that we are still very far away from attaining eternal youth. The main problem with traditional antioxidants is that they do not enter the cell because the cell is surrounded by a membrane and certainly do not reach the place where free radicals are formed in the mitochondrion. Moscow State University is already working on a way to deliver antioxidants directly into the cell so that in the future, the work of plastic surgeons and beauticians will perhaps be diminished. <laughs>